HPV is the second leading cause of cancer death in women in the world. Every year there's over 500,000 new cases of cervical cancer due to HPV and about 250,000 deaths a year associated with HPV cervical cancer. Besides the cervical cancer, HPV also causes cancer at other sites in the body such as the, the anal cavity and the oral uh, in the mouth around the tonsils. And uh, both of these sites are increasing in, in, in countries around the world, so they're becoming a bigger and bigger problem every year. What's not been considered a major problem in the past, mainly because nobody knew how to monitor it, was can HPV actually be transmitted through uh, inanimate objects, fomites. Recently, in the last few years, some uh, papers that have been published suggesting that certain medical devices that are disinfected between patients are actually carrying the virus between patients. That the disinfectant is not removing the virus or deactivating the virus. So the virus has the potential of still being alive on that device when it goes to the next patient. So this led to us thinking that maybe we need to have a way to actually measure whether or not disinfectants can actually kill the virus. So why haven't people done this before? Well, we were the first ever to grow papillomavirus in culture. Um, it was first discussed in the 1930s. That's when they first discovered, discovered papillomavirus, but nobody could grow it in a laboratory. And so there was never been a ready source of the virus to do these type of testings. Several years ago, I developed a technique in the laboratory to grow the virus in culture. And so over the years, we've been working on that technique and developing better and better ways of growing the virus so we could get enough of the virus to actually do these type of assays. We use some very basic stuff like ethanol and isopropanol because nowadays they have those little bottles of solution they wipe their hands in and they're hanging on the wall everywhere. And so we wanted to look at that because there's an interesting study that's been out that shows that anybody with an active HPV infection at any one time has these viruses on their fingertips. We chose um, specifically glutaraldehydes and OPAs because these are uh, disinfectants that hospital believes are sterilants. They believe that if they treat uh, devices or equipment with these, that it would kill everything on there, including papillomavirus. And then we chose a, just a, a scattering of other things um, just to see what would happen. And to our surprise, only a high concentration of parasitic acid, which is not commonly used anywhere, or bleach was killing papillomavirus. So last year, we published the first paper where we showed that hospital disinfectants are inefficient. They're ineffective at, at killing papillomavirus on these hospital uh, items.